Yo! Oh, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Oh, today Bobby's doing a little bit of seat time, doing a little bit of windshield time, a little bit of steering wheel time, a little bit of scouting because... Oh yeah, check that out. Oh yeah. We got five to seven inches of snow on the ground and your boy is not going to sit out there and freeze his tail off trying to shoot some birds today. It's just not going to happen. Everything is out of season. Everything's closed except for snow geese. It's conservation time. And uh, a lot of you guys know that the adults, I've, I've been talking about adults. If you guys are on Instagram at all and you guys watch any of the bigger uh, snow goose outfitters that usually pile them up like Tony Vandemore or, or there's a lot of other ones out there that usually just crack into them every season, like right now every season, it's not happening. They're barely killing three to eight to ten birds a day. Uh, and that's over big spreads, e collars going, yada, yada, yada. So, all in all, it's, it's almost a waste of time sitting a spread right now, especially with all the snow on the ground. There's no way your boy's going to be trying that. It's too cold. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be driving around, doing a little bit of scouting, seeing what these white birds want to do, really tracking them, getting them pinpointed. That's my goal. I, I want to know their flight line very well before I go sit out a spread and try these hard hard nasty adult birds they're smart they're extremely smart but all in all today's video is about the most epic moment that i had on the channel all season long i haven't done kind of a wrap-up season you know at the end of the season video i do want to give you guys the most epic moment and i want to describe it i want to talk about it and i just want to show a lot of you guys that haven't seen it and plus, I haven't got to put in a lot of my two cents and kind of describe the situation as we watch it. So we'll get to that here in just a bit. We're going to do some scouting here. I'm glad you guys are rolling along with me. Uh, the videos are going to be kind of hit and miss right now. Obviously, with the snow on the ground, you can't pigeon hunt. Obviously, with the snow on the ground, um, the snow goose hunting is going to be a little difficult. So, we are limited with content uh, to put out right now, so I want to thank all of my avid viewers. All you guys right now that are on here right now, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for showing your support. Thank you for always giving me that view and that big old thumbs up. It helps all the time. He got the sunshine. I got the rain. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nothing better than uh, jamming the old <clears throat> classic country while you're getting your scout on in the snow. I'm telling you right now. But back to the duck catch. Um, a lot of you have seen it, a lot of you haven't. It went crazy viral. I mean, this video went insanely viral. Let's run that clip. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yes! I've wanted to do that for so long, dude! Yes! Oh my god! Awesome. Dude! Where's your GoPro? On? Yes! Oh! I caught that bad boy in the air. Thumbnail. Dude, that was sick! I should be a baseball player, like, you know. Oh my god! That was sick! Totally caught him out of the air. That was bad. Everybody on this marsh is like, what the I have wanted to do that for so long. Catch a fallen bird. One handed <laughs> hey, caught that bad right boy. Here. Woo! Video for you. All right. That was Make sick. Focus first. I will. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick, dude. See that? They're in the spread. In the spread. In the spread. Landed. Nice oh, shot, man. Luke. <laughs> Uh, I know it's insane. So now you understand why I say it went insanely viral. Barstool Sports, Old Row Sports, Old Row Outdoors, all of them, man. All of them got a hold of it, and that thing went insane for two straight days. 15 million views on the internet, all in all. That's why I wanted to make its own video like this, just its own montage of me talking about it because it's epic. It was the most epic moment of the entire season for your boy. Yeah, so pretty epic, I know. Um, you won't, you wouldn't believe the amount of DMs that I got from you guys and across the globe on Instagram and, and on the channel in comments 
that uh, people were stating, man, I've always wanted to do that. And, and that's why I wanted to shed some light and kind of give my two cents and, and describe exactly the situation and how it happened so effortless, effort, uh, effortlessly. I just wanted to describe how it happened and why it looks so effortless. Because it does. A lot of people were like, Bobby, like that looks planned. Did you have someone throw it or launch it and catch it? Because it looks like you put no effort into it. Look guys, I have been running a GoPro on my head for almost three years. There's been very few hunts that I have not had a GoPro on my head. So, all in all, it's been a dream to be able to catch a bird with that GoPro on my head. Now, being able to shoot and catch one, I never really thought that that was possible. I've, I've never really done it. Last year, last season, uh, I was trying a lot of dumb stuff. I was trying to catch falling geese that other people shot. It wasn't very safe at all. I do not recommend doing that. So on this hunt here, what happened was, well, well what happened was, I only had like two birds to shoot to uh, fulfill my limit. I believe I was almost limited out, probably two birds left. And uh, it was a really chill, chill day. I mean, there was it was a five-man hunt. I brought four of my buddies along, and we went to a little public spot. Now, this was opening day for Teal in September, beginning of September here in Kansas. This was opening day. So we were all pumped up, thrilled, ready to go, and the hunt was just a banger. These birds, these till, were doing it right over the mojo, giving it up, and then when they come to the bank, they're going sky high. They're easy to shoot into the wind. Long story short, we started crack-a-lacking into them, and the hunt went from we worked our butt off and we walked a long ways in to get this juicy little spot to now, Holy cow, boys, it's only been 30 minutes and we're all limited out. So what I'm getting at is my nerves kind of dropped and, and we all just sat down on the bank. That's what we were doing. We are just chilling on the bank. And I'm telling you, this uh, double rolled in and, and the, these birds came right over the mojo and uh, just went sky high. And um, play the clip again. You'll see what I'm saying. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah, so that bird rolled over the mojo and just went sky high, and it was perfect. I, I shot it at the perfect moment to allow the wind to let it fall right on top of me. And and it does. It looks effortless. I'm like, oh, I'll just put my hand up right now and go ahead and catch this bad boy. And literally, that's what happened. I'm telling you, it's just because I've done so much shooting, so much content with that GoPro on my head, so much shotgunning, that I was just coherent enough, aware enough to be like, that bird looks like it's gonna fall on me. And I will have to say, I do play I do play a little bit of softball here and there, I do. And I'm always uh, right field. I'm always outfield, right fielder. That's Bobby's location when it comes to uh, softball. So, I, I am an outfielder at heart. I love outfield. And so when that bird was falling, I was like, I'll just go ahead and put my arm up. And I had my arm up for quite some time. I know I keep saying the same thing over and over, but when I haven't watched this video in a long time, and every time I do, I'm just like, you bad mother duck, you Bob, you. Oh, look at these darn adult snowbirds. These darn things. <sighs> Those snows, I'm telling you. They have been rascals. They're hard and they are smart. A lot of you guys know, conservation season is the only thing open right now and your boy is struggling I'm struggling because I want to hunt these snow geese we got them around we don't have them in a we don't have a lot we don't have a lot of them but they are around but I'm telling you with this snow on the ground it would be so hard getting all that all of them decoys in the field so pause pause the duck shot and catch scenario real quick I need y'all's help. I need your help. Uh, I need you to drop a comment down below and I need to know what videos you want me to do right now. This week is what I'm talking about. This week's videos, I need to know, I need some help, what you guys wanna see because the hunting, the hunting is limited people, limited. The weather is harsh, it's cold, we got a lot of snow. 
Um, I do want to do some coyote hunting. I'm going to try to get out this weekend uh, with some buddies and try to rascal and round up some coyotes. So, that's on deck. We got that one on deck. We got it chalked up. But I need to know other simple videos. Something that you guys want me to talk about. A how-to video. I need a how-to video for Friday. So, drop your comments down below right now. Let me know what how-to videos you want for Friday or Saturday. I'll, I might even put up two, two of them back-to-back -back if you guys give me two, uh, two good ones. So, you guys know I appreciate your help when it comes to making these videos. I just want to know what you guys want to see. And I really need some help for some how-to videos, some sit-down videos, uh, until this snow kind of gets out of here and the hunting is a little easier for these snow geese and for the pigeon. So, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yep. No hunting. And look at that. Late season birds wanting to land in city limits. What's well, new? They're pretty though. White and dark all mixed in. Gonna land way back there. <laughs> Look at that. No hunting. We're gonna land right there. Oh yeah, right there, boys. Bubba, hey, what are you doing, sis? You're playing? You're playing on your tablet? Is it teacher in service today, sis? Yes, parent teacher conferences. Hello, can you look over here? Hello, hi, Cestel. Hello. Oh, well, look who it is Bubba Allen. Come here, Bub. Where's your pants, man? Where's your pants? Huh? Where's your pants at? First time I walked in earlier, he goes, Pizza? You think the pizza man was here or what, Bubba? I did. I walked in the door and he goes, Pizza? That guy, all he thinks about is food. Oh, but I got a little something, something that I want to show y'all right here. Come on now, come on, come on now. So as a lot of you know, uh, I use seed sacks. I've showed you guys these before and it's one of my little tricks to haul a bunch of decoys at once. I figured I'd just show you guys this. This is a brand new, it is huge, it's massive. But anyways, that's a big seed sack that stands about this tall and about four foot wide. That's what we carry all of our full body decoys in that you guys have seen that it's in the enclosed trailer. I just picked two of those up, brand new, 12 bucks a piece. 12 bucks a piece. That's a, that's a heck of a bargain considering the fact that one 12 slot decoy bag probably costs, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. But like I said, go to your local uh, seed dealer, your seed dealer custom seed mill, and you can buy those bad boys. Those were only 12 bucks a piece, brand new. Picked them up yesterday. Oh boy. Well, back here in the shop and I figured we would close it out here, but the reason why I made this video was a lot of you guys haven't seen that epic duck catch. And it's something that I'm really proud of. Sorry, the old, the old goggles are on self-tent mode right now. But it was an epic, epic moment. A lot of you uh, that's been here from day one have always known that it's been my goal, my dream, to catch a bird, a falling bird. And that moment was perfect. Shooting it, catching it, all in one go. It was pretty amazing. And... It caught on. Like I said, it got 15 to 18 million views online. Now, that's not here on uh, the old YouTube channel. I, I wish it had got that many views here on, here on YouTube. But it was on Instagram and Facebook and kind of a conglomeration of, of all of them. Uh, yeah, it accumulated 15 to 18 million views. And that's just for that 15 to 18 second clip. That's not for the whole hunt. So, if you guys want to watch that video, I will link it down in the description below. You can go click on it and go watch the entire thing. It is a great public duck till opener video where I catch that till and it was it was it was amazing. 
Oh, but in other news, yeah, we got five to seven inches here. We're supposed to get another round of snow come Saturday. I'm sure a lot of you in the Midwest are experiencing the same thing. So, with the snow goose hunting, all this snow is going to pin these birds down in Kansas and Oklahoma. It's going to pin them down for a while. So, it's actually a good thing because snow goose season should draw out a bit. They shouldn't just return north uh, in a hurry. That All that snow line, all them lines of snow are going to pin them birds from March and north. Because they know the north, more northern they go right now, everything's going to be locked up. The water's going to be locked up. They're not going to be able to find food because it's going to be covered in snow. So they're going to be staying in these southern states for quite some time. Let me tell you what. But I know that today was a short just, you know, hangout video, chill video, and that's what I wanted to do. Just kind of bring you along on my day, on my morning, my scouting, looking at birds, chilling, a little bit of family time. That's my average day, and today, like I said with the weather, I, I, there's, I can't hunt today. There's nothing to hunt today, unless I go coyote hunting. If you guys want to see coyote hunting, drop a comment down below and let me know. But if you have any other recommendations on easy videos, what you want me to, how-to videos, over the gun, over decoy spreads, over calling, if you want me to do some calling videos, let me know down below because I really want to do some sit-down how-to videos here in the shop. And I want to do the ones that you guys want to see. So, you got to let me know. But, thank you all for being here yet again. You know I appreciate all you guys being here every single time. Without y'all, I couldn't be doing this. Without y'all supporting me and buying the Ducks merch. You, you guys are the ones that keep me going. I'm telling you right now. If it wasn't for you guys buying the Ducks merch, we wouldn't be here today. All y'all heard about the YouTube problems and the hunting channels and this and that and blah blah blah. Yeah, well... Every time you guys purchase something from Ducks, Waterfowl.com, it goes directly to supporting me and keep bringing you these videos. I know I've told you before, but it's important to me, and I appreciate you guys. All your guys' support means a ton to me. I mean it. But subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for being here, y'all. We will see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh. oh.